Welcome back. The Fremantle Dockers are coming off a disappointing performance against GWS. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, welcome. Are you alarmed by that result? Oh, I'm not sure alarmed is the right word, but yeah, it's very disappointing. Um, yeah, there's some aspects of the game that just aren't us, and uh, the, yeah, we showed a you know, lack of fight, especially as the game wore on, which was disappointing. And we had a lot of players going off task and internalising, and yeah, it led to it being a pretty ordinary last quarter. So um, yeah, we need to get back to our best footy. Dermot Brereton thinks you're too calm as coach. Should you be screaming and shouting more, maybe? Oh, that's the first I've heard of that. So I'm not sure what context Dermy said that in, but yeah, sometimes when you're losing, you get um, criticised for the things that you get praised for when you're winning. So, um, yeah, there's different ways to get messages across to the players. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a shouter and a screamer. Um, but, yeah, I think I get my messages across clearly. What are you like behind the scenes with the players? Because I suppose we do see you as pretty cool, calm and collected on match day. Yeah, well, I think strike the balance between um, the stick and the carrot. Um, and, you know, what the players are looking for after a performance on the weekend is, a, is what they did wrong, but also a, path, um, a pathway out of it and a pathway forward. So I think I strike the balance between those things pretty well. And, you know, I can always get better as a coach, but you know, yesterday um, in the review it was about, you know, providing a pathway out of it. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's set a platform for us to train really well this week and, um, and improve performance against Essendon. Now, can we lock Sean Darcy in for Saturday night, assuming he gets through training? Yeah, he's got to get through training. That's the final um, box he needs to tick. But, um, yeah, we're, we've got our fingers crossed that he'll do that and be ready to play. And how about James Aish and Michael Frederick? Yeah, they've both got to get through training, but um, both are looking really positive. So, um, yeah, could have a couple of inclusions there as well. Now you're in a position now where just about every game is must win. How do you beat the Bombers on Saturday night? Oh, we've got to get our contest right. Um, you know, before the bye, our contest and our pressure was our one wood, um, and we're up there with the best in the comp at that. So that's where our game starts. Um, and off the back of that, we need to defend better than we have the last two weeks. Um, it hasn't been the standard that we accept, and we're going to have to be at our best. Essendon, Saturday night at Optus Stadium. Justin, good luck. Thanks, Ryan.